What's up everybody, it's Dennis here and welcome to another motorhome tour. Today we're here at Dennis Dillon RV here in Santa Ana going to check out this brand new Freightliner Explorer 38 EMB model. This thing lists at $521,000, features a lot of interesting details and amenities that we're going to check out in a bit. Let's get started. So we're gonna start our tour up front. This motorhome is built on a Freightliner chassis, so it, it has that heavy duty look. I love the front grille design with this lower bumper section. And uh, if you look up there, you can see this shallow windshield design that I think gives this motorhome an overall sporty feel. Also right here, we have the sensors for the lane uh, assist and uh, safety feature with the braking. And coming to the side, we have the door for the passenger side. I love these steps and this is one of your sensors as well. Now, let's check out some of the details here. First slide out, frameless windows, has that modern look. We have the awning design above. This is where you have your outdoor TV and sound bar. And down below, we have the storage areas. But what's interesting is the fact that they give you these uh, attachments that locks your luggages in place. So that way as you're uh, driving or traveling. Yeah, shifting weight. Exactly, they're not moving around. Now, we have the hot water heater here. Main door taking us inside. We're gonna check that out in a bit. And I wanna bring everybody to the side, more storage area, central vacuum, another slide out, very sleek, again, frameless windows. And coming to the back side, we have LED lights, rear backup camera, 20,000 pound tow hitch. So you can pull literally anything you need. You'd pull another RV behind this. Easy. Yeah. Easy because you have a 13 liter, 505 horsepower engine, which is a lot. Yeah, it's huge. Now, let's take everybody here. We have this door opening up to your electrical cord. Even this is motorized that way. As you're reeling it back up, you can easily do that. Let's check out this door, 8K quiet diesel generator. Now, this generator is hooked up to your main fuel tank. You have a 120 gallon fuel tank, which means not only you can uh, power the vehicle, your generator uses the same tank. What's on, the range on a 120 mile gallon tank? That I don't know It's actually. probably at least 10 miles a gallon, so you can probably go 1200 miles with this thing. I was I gonna say 11, 12 yeah. miles per gallon. If you know, let us know in the comment section below. Yeah. That's our black and gray water valves. And coming here, those are actually the tanks themselves. I think we have another one right here. There you go. You have your battery systems here, and uh, that's it, actually. Let's come here. So obviously this goes to the driver's side, right? Climb up there for us. Not now, we'll check it out from the inside. Okay. Fuel tank. It's Very a nice, nice little detail. Yeah. Mikey's like, I didn't see that coming. All right, that's it for the exterior. Looks great, I just love this heavy duty look. Let's check out inside. Now we arrive to the main door. We have the screen door detail here and steps come down as you open up the door. Your keypad, that way you don't have to carry your keys and let's go inside. As soon as you enter the RV, you come to this spacious living room area. Honestly, looking at it from the outside, I feel like you don't expect the interior to be this spacious. But I mean, I would like to think I'm a pretty good sized dude and I'm moving around here so comfortable. You have ceramic tiles on the floors that are heated and you can actually even adjust the rating of the heating and uh let's start our tour here well i can vouch for that you don't have to hope for that you're a pretty you're a good sized dude you know? yeah i mean like in a sense that like mikey we're just walking around the living room area like it's comfortable here it's not like tightly packed yeah for sure we have the full-size fridge here some extra countertop space your dvd and all the other good stuff this is an area that i really like because you have these two seats this is your dinette but you can see the seat belts here. So if, as you're driving this motor home, you can actually travel here safely. And I just love that they give you USB plugs, cup holders, so you're comfortable here. You have your motorized TV on the other side with a sound bar. You have your LED mood lighting. What y'all don't know is whatever material they use for those chairs is just 
unbelievably soft too. Absolutely, they're comfortable. They're that Americana comfortable, you know. Anybody that lives in the United States, they know what I'm talking about. It's like, it's like a lazy boy couch. That's right. Yeah. There you go. You explained it better than I did. Yeah. All right. So we have two uh, seats here. Oh, I did not know that they actually recline. Yeah. I just discovered that right now. Okay. That same kind of comfortable. That's right. The lazy boy uh, feel. That's right. All right. Let's go check out the front cabin where we have the driver's seat. Honestly, I like the dashboard of this one. It looks a little industrial. All these knobs are a little bit oversized, heavy duty. You have your screen and that shallow windshield design really kind of tunnels your vision. And just again, feels very sporty to me. I don't know why. But with the big, with the massive windows, it feels like you're driving a bus. This, this doesn't feel like it's as big because the windows are a little smaller also, I feel like. It feels like a regular car. Agreed, agreed, well said. I mean, it's super nice. The steering wheel, uh, the dashboard, cup holders, you have everything you need here. Passenger has the same style seat as well. Very nice. All right, let's go back. Let's cover the kitchen. We have it over here. A lot of countertop space. Let's open these covered plates. We have the induction cooktop here, microwave above, glass backsplash, your sink, another window, all these upper cabinets. I mean, everything is well utilized and you have that massive fridge on the other side, spacious. And coming back to the entry, we actually have the screen here. You can literally control anything you need. Lighting, slide outs, curtains. You can control it all here. Now, let's check out the full bathroom on this side. We have the toilet, vanity design. And this one actually has a nice cladding and they use the same glass tile design that we saw the backsplash over here. Ventilation above, good size. Mikey, stay right there. Washer and dryer. Very nice, always good to have. Absolutely, right before your bedroom. Let's check out the bedroom. We have a queen size bed here, ceiling fan, air conditioning. It's definitely cozy. You have your TV on the other side, cabinetry, and I don't know, just something about the motorhome life. It's been growing on me a lot. And uh, Ennis has been talking about it. He's got he's got a bug. He's, uh, his, uh, he wants to buy one for his parents so his parents can experience that. And maybe we use it when they're not using it. So yeah. I may have my own little secret agenda there. We travel a lot, but you know. Uh, and just wants his parents to, to feel that feel that lazy boy style, you know? Exactly. I just want them to travel and have a good time and enjoy their lives. And uh, I guess that's it for this tour. Beautiful motorhome. I love the exterior design. And let us know in the comment section below if you want us to tour more motorhomes like this one. I can't take them enough. Dennis Dillon RV, they provided us some amazing motorhomes and I'm sure you guys are gonna see the episodes throughout the weeks. Uh, make sure to give them a follow, check out their links in the description on this motorhome as well as the other inventory that they have. And if you enjoyed the tour, again, make sure to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys next week.